Morning everyone! I haven't done a vlog in actually ages, I can't remember the last time I did one and it's something that I love to do and I love to watch other people so I thought because we're doing something slightly different today that I would pick up the camera and take you guys along with me. We, me and Mark, are both going to London and we're not going alone. We are taking little Peggy with us. So this is the very first time that Peggy has ever been on a train and it's the first time she's been to London. Well, hopefully if we get there in one piece, if we get on the train, and if we get to London, this will be her first time in London and the first time on a train. I personally am quite apprehensive about it because, you know, it's another thing to look after and I don't know how she's going to react, I don't know if she's going to be a bit sad or upset or overly excited, I don't know. So it's going to be something completely new for all of us but Mark's very up for it so I'm assuming that he's going to take the lead and if I get all stressed and like oh my god Peggy stop being silly he's gonna sort it all out oh, for me. I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally he, gonna take the lead. Yes he literally if you can hear him he's literally gonna take the lead he's sitting right behind me um or in front of me I don't know. We need to go to the train station now I've been sitting here waffling for a little while too long um and I don't want to miss the train so off we go. Peggy you ready? <laughs> She's ready. Okay, so we couldn't resist coming to Beyond Bread for our lunch, and I went a bit mad. I went for the tuna melt, which is my favourite, but then I also went for the French toast with mascarpone and cinnamon sugar on it. Bit of a cheeky one for me, um, with a bit of, you know, with the sugar and everything, but I am so looking forward to this. I love mascarpone and I love French toast, so that's looking good. Mark, on the other hand, went for a breakfast for, for lunch. Peppermint tea each, just because when you got this much food and you got IBS, you need to have a peppermint tea each. Peggy is, you'll be pleased to know, very happy on the floor at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to have to just tuck into this now because it looks rather snazzy and rather delicious. So yeah. So we've just come out of Beyond Bread and had the most delicious, I was going to say brunch, but it's now three o'clock or something. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. Peg has been very well behaved. We just met a four and a half month old puppy and it was the cutest little thing and Peg got on very well with it. So that was good, wasn't it? Peg got on very well with the puppy. Oh, she was really good actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, generally having Peggy in London has been amazing because it means we don't have to worry about someone looking after her or well, being alone and her being alone for and us having to be in London for like two hours um, and yeah I mean she did a poo in the in the train station car park which is good which I is suppose good. getting it done could be worse yeah ahead of time sorry there's lots of traffic around we're in Islington we're gonna go quickly um, so yeah it has been a success and I mean in Beyond Bread she just sat on the floor I think she and then she sat on the floor and wouldn't go to sleep and we're like, go to sleep. And then as soon as she went on Mark's lap after he'd finished eating, she was gone. So, so she had a power nap. So I think, I think she's had a very good day. Um, I hope this video will like show you her tottering around because she has definitely been doing that. Oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a little, there's a little whippet coming the other way. We're not going to stop, hopefully. Very cute. It had a scarf on. <laughs> he sped up when he saw Peggy. Oh, 
the whip it was scared of my dog my tiny little dog um but yeah i've really really enjoyed bringing her to london and i think it's something that we'll do again we'll probably we really we're sort of building up so at the moment we're taking her on short trips to london and then we'll be able to take her on holiday hopefully oh, and yeah. know how not much on a plane. no not on a plane ever but you know how much i love brighton we want to take her to brighton it's like dog capital of the uk i find they have the most adorable dogs and i think peg would fit right in um but we are just walking back down to angel station now gonna go on the tube she was all right on the tube as well bit nervous it's a bit loud isn't it yeah it's a bit loud for her but then once we get off the tube we're gonna walk back to liverpool street and get the train home because we don't want to be up here with her for too long because i think she'll just get really tired and i'm quite tired now we've done a lot of walking today oh, no. and I must admit, I went to the gym this morning and holding this camera up right now for as long as I have is making my arm ache. So I'm gonna have to stop this. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. And um, we'll catch up later, I guess. The train was super super busy and luckily we got a seat because we got on it like 20 minutes before it left but if we hadn't we would have had to stand the whole way which would have been like a whole hour and that would have been very sad but Peg was very well behaved she didn't have her own seat but she had my lap and she completely fell asleep on it she loved it she did love it here she is she's having a yawn hello she's Peg yawning all the way you okay yeah I just wanted to tell you that we're home safely because that's the sort of thing you always do it's like my mum always says when I go to London however old I am I'm now 27 she still says text me when you get home did just say that today no <laughs> but she often How does old? she often does especially when I go to London a bit later but today it's still five something um so the the day is still young or the yeah, whatever. I don't know what I'm going on about. You can see I'm tired. Everyone who saw Peggy today, which obviously in London was a lot of people, they were all like, oh, bless. Oh, she's so sweet. Some people came up to her and like stroked her and it was very, very cute. What are you doing, Peg? What are you doing? She's digging at your leg. She seems to be digging my... Oh, it's because I'm sitting on her antler. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Peg. But we have come home and I have had a couple of deliveries. So I thought, why not just show you what I've got in the post. I open this and it says brownies all over it and I love this little sticker here. Why? It says brownie points. Great. So these are from Lola's brownies and if you open it up it shows all the different types of brownies. They're all gluten free which is amazing. They sent them to me because you can now order this across the whole of the UK and you can get it in the post and it literally goes through your, your letterbox because otherwise I wouldn't have received it today. And oh my god. So I'm assuming this one is mint chocolate chip because it looks like it's got loads of aero on it. Raspberry. Oh my God. I thought they were very nice and something I had to share because they look so good. Um, I've got this box of belly goodness. Be kind to your tummy. But then what I've got is tons and tons of sauces. And what is really cool about these sauces, if you're like me, struggling with onion and garlic and stuff, this is a Mediterranean sauce and it is. No gluten, no dairy, no yeast, no added sugar, no onion, no garlic, and no tomato, which is amazing. We got a curry sauce here, white sauce, a chili sauce. Oh, this is the one I'm looking forward to trying. This is called the no tomato sauce, so like tomato, but no tomato because it's got no tomato in it. Thank you very much. Belly goodness, you lovely, smiley, friendly people. I hope you give my belly some goodness. It really does need it. I want to be kind to my tummy. So yeah, I was going to let this video like drag on till later or tomorrow. I didn't know. I didn't know how it was going to work, but I think you've seen quite a lot of me and Peggy and Mark for one day. Um, so I think I'll end the vlog here. Yeah. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Go up here and go and what do you need to do? Like me on Instagram. Yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Follow me on Instagram. I can't remember what you do with Instagram. I'm very tired, as you can see. Um, but yeah, 
I will see you very soon. I will finish this video just by going to see where Peg is and where Mark is because I can see out the corner of my eye that they are both together. Oh! Oh hi, and I'm just chilling out here. A wild Mark and... Is she asleep? Are you asleep? No, she's about to go to sleep. This is what our London day has done to my dog. <laughs> right. Good night. And see you later everyone. Bye.